Okay, now I'm inside. This is a long living room that leads up to pretty nicely redone kitchen with granite, big fridge, white cabinets, backsplash. Uh, but there's one interesting thing I wanted to point out about this front doorway is this looks like a handicapped type of ramp. So it's different. Just something to point out. Bedroom number one. Looks like it's been recently painted in here, even though there is some bowing, which kind of might have happened after the storm if, the, um, if it got too hot in here. This bathroom looks like it's nicely redone. Shower, a new toilet. There's some type of spill there on the floor, uh, but the floor is pretty good. And in, uh, in this bathroom, new vanity with granite. It's this flooring in this living area in particular that you can kind of feel the crawl space, the, the foundation that the house is set on is just settling a little bit in some areas. Bedroom number two. I don't know if I'd call it a walk-in closet, but you've got a little bit of extra space in bedroom number two than you would in normal guest bathrooms. So here's another, or I should say, this is the guest bathroom. I was talking about guest bedroom. Two sinks, new vanity, granite, a nice tile with a wood look, uh, shower, tub shower combo with a new toilet as well. Bedroom number three. Here's a settling crack to give you an idea. You can tell that's part of the house that's settling a little bit in here. You can tell next to this window as well. It's livable. It's just that on this old of a house, it's, it's gonna happen. And here's the laundry area with the washer dryer and the water heater is inside. Again, there's no garage on this house is probably the biggest setback, but there is an area if that brush was cleared away for you to pull into the yard 